Tesla Tim and back with another video um, Tesla Model S 70D named Phoenix and we're doing the web browser um, review and uh, in our new version 8 release of uh, Tesla software so I, I kind of ran uh, ran this test here it's uh, detectmybrowser.com and I kind of want to see what is allowed in this browser so it's basically a known unknown variant of Linux that's what this is running on it gives us the, the uh, resolution or whatever and it says plug and check and you can see it doesn't run any of this stuff it doesn't run Java shockwave silverlight none of this stuff runs in the browser itself nothing no HTML5 audio no video for HTML5 um, here's their CSS3 capabilities it does a bunch of stuff but some stuff it doesn't H um, HTML advanced interfaces so it does stuff like geolocations and stuff like that but nothing with video so you can see it looks some input forms so this test kind of tested out the, the browser to see if any kind of video would play it does not um, I did go to YouTube just to kind of see and we all know that Tesla's not going to allow videos to be playing while they're driving but it's always good to test it out so this is the new web browser and software update 8.0 I wanted to kind of show you guys it is pretty responsive and my LTE um, speed here is, is pretty pretty bad but it's a lot more responsive I'm finding than the last browser um, so hopefully if you're looking for something on Google while you're bored sitting around um, you can find it but if you click on any of these it's not going to play them. This is kind of funny. Between Two Ferns with Zach, Zach Galifianakis. I'll try to go there and see what happens. It's hard to pronounce his last name, by the way. Let's see if it actually tries to load it up. It'll probably load up the actual um, the page for that, but it won't let the video play. Alright, so... It's just black, not allowing nothing to play. We'll let it, we'll let it continue to stream here. Let it load and see if uh, anything happens. And while this is loading up, it's it's kind of frozen up, like most web browsers do when they're loading stuff up. But yeah. All right, let's go to some other websites. Let's go to Yahoo. Yeah, I suck at typing. It's kind of weird because Yahoo kind of loads up like this. So far, twice I've I've been to Yahoo at my house where I had full full bars on uh, full wireless, and then out and about in LTE, and it kind of loads like this, which is kind of weird. And the Tesla website comes up, of course, right? I should go full screen as well in a minute. Learn right about software 8.0. Yeah, that's one thing they didn't really mention anything about is like the web browser, so. They didn't say anything changed in software 8.0, but uh, I figured we'd do a little bit of a video on it. So it's the same thing up here. You still have your um, favorites they can go to. Actually, let's go ahead and delete that favorite out of there. Boom. And then you can favorite stuff by just clicking the little heart there. Um, there's not much else to it. Obviously, you can go full screen or you can go half screen if you want to. So. So that's the uh, the new web browser inside um, software 8.0 and uh, my Tesla Model S. Um, if you guys have any questions, definitely comment down below. Um, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If not, a thumbs down. And always subscribe to our channel. We always look like subscribers. Until next time, guys. We'll see you. Peace. Look, no hands. If you like Tesla Tim, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Thanks.